today we're doing the fetal pig dissection. I'm going to start off by telling you what equipment I'm going to be using. We have here hemostats. We have probes of various types. I have a forcep. I have here scissors, a scalpel, which I'm not gonna use very often, bone scissors, pins to help label the parts and hold them in place, string to tie up the pig, and of course I have my safety equipment, gloves, goggles, and an apron. So now we're going to determine the gender of the pigs. I have two pigs here. If you look very closely here, you can see that this pig does have what we call mammillary papillae. And if we look here, we have the umbilical cord. Oops. If we look closely under the umbilical cord, we have the urogenital opening here, the opening to the urethra. Then I'm gonna move back to the anal area, and you can see the anal opening right underneath the tail. This is a male pig. Now let's look at the female pig. The female pig also has mammillary papillae. But if you look under the umbilical cord, you won't see any urogenital opening. But instead, let's go to the anal area, and you can see a urogenital papilla here. And there you have the opening to the vagina and the anus here. So this is a female pig. So now we're going to dissect the cheek area of the pig. You notice that there's already a cut here where the pig was injected. And so that's where I'm going to start. We're gonna be looking for the masseter muscle. We're gonna look for the parotid duct, the parotid glands, and the submandibular gland, as well as the facial nerve. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use my probe to kind of separate it in between the skin and the fascia here. So I'm gonna take my time because I don't want to disturb the nerve. Okay, so you see I have a nice opening there, okay? And sometimes I do use my fingers to get a good separation, but you see I am not using the scalpel for this. Now, since I've made a nice little tunnel, I'm gonna take my scissors and create a flap. Typically, you want the narrow end down. That's a little bit easier to get to, but I'm always cutting up. You don't wanna cut down. Okay, and then I'm gonna clean it up here and we'll see our facial nerve. So now I have put back the skin flaps, cleaned up some of the fascia, and you can see this large muscle here is the masseter muscle. And on top here is our facial nerve. So that is our facial nerve. Many students cut this if, they're, if you're not being very careful, so you have to be very careful and separate the skin from the fascia like I did before. And so if you look down here, you see this material here, that is the parotid duct. All this material is a parotid duct, this is a parotid gland, this is a parotid gland. When I cut back the parotid gland, you can see there the submandibular gland. That is the submandibular gland. And that is what we're trying to find in the cheek. So we have the masseter muscle, the facial nerve, the parotid duct material, the parotid gland, and Deep to that, the submandibular gland. Now that we've done and completed our cheek, I'm gonna tie up the pig. I'm gonna do that by tying string around one of the arms, then going underneath the tray, tying the other arm. I'm gonna do the same with the legs. Now we're going to do the thoracic uh, cavity here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feel down here to where I see the sternum, and I'm going to actually cut away the tissue here 
and then I'll clean up the insides. What we want to see is the larynx and the trachea. And you also see the thyroid gland as well, as well as some of the thymus gland. So now I'm gonna get to cleaning up and I'll be right back. So now I've cut the skin away. You can see I have the skin flaps held back and I've also cut the muscle. I'm gonna lift it up here and do a little cleaning. And you can see here, the first thing you're seeing here is the larynx here, the larynx. And leading from the larynx is the trachea. You can actually see the rings of cartilage that make up the trachea. Way down here, you see the top of the thyroid gland. That's way down there. You can also see some other um, gland here. This is a thymus gland here. I removed it on this side so you can see more of the trachea. Underneath the trachea, which you cannot see, is of course the esophagus. And that's what we're finding here in the chest cavity. Now we're gonna do a procedure called jokering. What we're going to do is we're gonna make a cut here on this side of the jaw, on the other side of the jaw. We're gonna pry the mouth open and we're gonna use bone scissors to crack any bone. That'll allow us to see the tongue better. We'll also see the epiglottis, the glottis. We'll also be able to see the soft and hard palate. So now I've completed the jokering. You can see I've really opened the mouth all the way down. Here's the tongue, just to orient you. Here's the tongue. Here's the hard palate here. Here's the soft palate inside the mouth. And what you see here, this little flap here, that is the epiglottis, epiglottis. It actually goes into the opening, which is the glottis. And if I were to go back this way, I am now in the nasopharynx. Okay. Here also are the papillae on the tongue. And I believe that is it. So now we're going to do the abdominal cavity and we're also gonna do the urogenital system. To get into the abdominal cavity is very easy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this piece of skin here. I'm gonna put a probe through it, you see? And that's how I know I can cut. I'm gonna cut that skin away. I'm gonna expose the diaphragm, uh, continue to cut all the way around and uh, open up the abdominal cavity and you'll be able to see all of the organ systems that we're going to talk about. So now I've opened up the, both the thoracic cavity and the abdominal cavity. First, I'm gonna look at the abdominal cavity. Now you can see here is a diaphragm, so I've cut that. Right underneath the diaphragm is this massive liver. So this is the liver. I'm gonna lift up the liver so you can see the gallbladder. It's this flattened sac-like structure here. That is the gallbladder, lean there, that structure there. Then if we lift up our liver here, we can see that this is our stomach. This big sac here, this is our stomach right here. So that's our stomach right underneath the liver. Here's stomach. Then if I lift up the stomach, you might be able to see the pancreas here. And so if you look very carefully, you can see the pancreas right there. That kind of uh, mealy looking structure is the pancreas. Now, if we go look at our stomach again, we can see that we can find the beginning of our small intestine. And so there it is here, and that is a duodenum. Next, we have the jejunum. And the jejunum, you can tell, it's all attached by this mesentery. And this mesentery is filled with vessels, and they help with absorption. So this, then, would be the jejunum. The ileum appears as a separate ball, so it's a loose ball here. So this would be our, our, our ileum here, okay? Then we can see the large intestine is really, in, in, in pigs, is it's called the spiral colon. So that's the spiral colon. And there's a blind ending that we call the cecum, and that is here. So that's the end segment. And of course here, you have the rectum leading down and out to the anus. So once again, the rectum here. Now, if you look here, you see a large structure here. This is the kidney. 
and is surrounded by that capsule material, and I can tear some of that away. On top of the kidney, you typically will see an adrenal gland. They're very difficult to see, and I don't really see it here, but it would be about right there. And of course, you have another kidney on the opposite side here. Here we're in the thoracic cavity, and this large structure you see here, the central, is the heart. I've actually removed the pericardium. I will show you a little bit of, a, of that pericardium. It's a very tough tissue, so here it is here, so I, it's really very tough. So I removed that so you could actually see the heart muscle. And here you can see one of the chambers, which is called the auricle, here, and pigs. And of course, the bulk of the chamber here is the ventricles. Here's the other one. If you look here, if I lift this up a little bit, you can see the other one is back here. It's another flap. These structures here are the lungs. So you see the lungs, the heart, the pericardium, which I removed, and the ventricle and one of the large auricles here. So now we're going to look at the male urogenital tract. Here you can see, once again, the, the um, rectum here. Here's the urinary bladder and the urinary vessels here. If you look between here very carefully, you can see one of the cords of the vas deferens on this side, and here it is on the other side. In between those two cords is the location of the seminal vesicle. If I lift this back, I'm gonna put back the bladder. You can see I've dissected out the penis. So this is the penis. Here is the urinary bladder. Here is the rectum leading out into the anus. You have your vas deferens, one side, the other side, seminal vesicle in the center. Now I'm going to dissect out the seminal vesicle, and you're going to see on the end of that will be the scrotum, and they're lying in the scrotal sacs. They are descendant testes. So here is the vas deferens, and you can see that I actually pulled out one of the scrotums from the scrotal sac. So this is the scrotum. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to open this up so you can actually see the testes and the epididymis. So here I have put out the, um, the scrotum and I've taken off the scrotum covering. And now you can see there's the testes surrounded by the epididymis here. So I put it out because it was down and descended into the scrotal sac. So the scrotum, I opened up the scrotum. Here you have the testes and the epididymis. So here is the female urogenital system. You can see here that we've removed the urinary bladder. I have actually dissected it out. And here you can see this kind of squiggly line here is the horn of the uterus. The uterus is here in the center. If I pull this up, you can see there's our uterus there. So this is the horn of the uterus. And if we go to the end here, we can see there this tiny pea-like structure right there. That is the ovary surrounded by oviduct. So that is an ovary.